welcome back to Paris Top Tips. Here is the second episode of our Tourist Safety in Paris series. In this installment, we'll delve into the cunning scams, petty thefts and tricks used by scammers in the city of love. Most importantly, I'll show you how to outsmart them and protect your precious belongings. Paris, with its iconic landmarks and romantic atmosphere, can be a paradise for tourists. Yet, beneath its charming exterior, it hides an array of scams that can catch even the savviest travelers of guard. In this episode, we'll delve into various scams, petty thefts, and how to outsmart the tricksters in Paris. As I tried to be as exhaustive as possible, you might find this video a little long. So, to ensure you have all the information you need, I've created a timeline with chapters in the video. This way, you can jump to specific topics of interest at any time. Let's begin our exploration of these common scams and learn how to stay safe while enjoying the magic of the City of Light. First scam of our list, the deaf and mute petition scam. A common sight near major tourist attractions like the Opera, Louvre, Eiffel Tower and Sacré-Cœur. The scam typically involves someone, often a woman from Eastern Europe, pretending to be deaf and mute while holding a petition board for you to sign. Once you've signed the petition, they will request money, typically under the pretense of supporting a charitable cause. In more sinister scenarios, a second individual posing as deaf may attempt to pickpocket you while you are signing the petition. Second on our list, the cups and balls or three card trick scam. You'll find this near every tourist hotspot in Paris, such as the Opera, Louvre, Eiffel Tower and more. While the cups and balls tricks itself isn't inherently fraudulent, scammers employ it as part of a larger scheme to deceive and take your money. In these scams, the scammer often presents the cups and balls routine as a gambling or betting game. Spectators are encouraged to bet on which cup the ball is hidden under. However, the scammer, in complete control of the cups and balls, can manipulate the outcome to ensure they win the bets. It's a group scam. Around the scammer, accomplices will also place bets and win to create the illusion that winning is easy. It's essential to remember that gambling on the street is illegal in Paris. Thus, it's best to avoid participating altogether. Next, when exploring crowded tourist areas, you may encounter tuk-tuk drivers eager to offer you a ride. While some tuk-tuk drivers adhere to a price chart with fixed rates for various destinations, there's a hidden catch that tourists often overlook. The price chart displayed usually states rates per person, a detail conveniently written in small font. Consequently, if you're traveling with up to four people, the total cost can skyrocket. To outsmart this scam, ensure you confirm the total cost with the driver before boarding. Fake taxi services can be a significant concern, primarily around Charles de Gaulle and Orly airports and Gare du Nord train station. Legitimate taxis from airports to Paris have fixed fares, like 62 euro for the South Bank and 55 euro for the North Bank from Charles de Gaulle airport. In airports, you'll find clear signage leading you to the official taxi stands. However, scammers may approach you along the way, offering a taxi ride. These fake taxi drivers often charge exorbitant fees and may even hold you hostage in the vehicle if you refuse to pay their inflated prices. To stay safe, always use the official taxi stands, which are easy to find. Verify that your taxi displays an official sign on the roof, features an official meter inside displaying the fare and bears the official Paris taxi plate on the side of the vehicle. Never accept rides from any other vehicles unless you've pre-booked a designated shuttle service or a Uber or Bolt and the likes. As you dine in Paris charming restaurants and cafes, be mindful of certain dining scams that can affect your experience. When prevalence scam involves waitstaff insisting on receiving a tip when you settle the bill, it is crucial to remember that service charges are already included in French prices, so tipping is optional. 
If you find yourself persistently asked for a tip, you can politely decline by saying, je ne vois pas pourquoi, I don't see any reason for that. Another trick occurs when you order a coffee, and instead of serving the expected single coffee, you receive a double coffee or a café au lait, a more expensive option. Similarly, if you order a beer, Parisians typically receive a demi, half a pint, while tourists may unknowingly receive a pint, a full pint, at a higher price. Moving on, let's discuss the friendship bracelet scam, frequently encountered near popular tourist spots like the Sacré-Cœur and the Louvre. In this scam, an individual, often a black African man, approaches you and offers to tie a bracelet around your wrist, claiming it's a friendship bracelet. While they initially present this as a gift, they'll swiftly demand payment once the bracelet is on your wrist. In some instances, if you refuse to pay, the scammers may become aggressive. To safeguard yourself, firmly say non merci and keep your arm alongside your body. In any case, avoid letting them touch you. Another area of concern in Paris is the presence of tobacco smugglers selling cigarettes at slightly cheaper prices than you'd find at a licensed tobacco shop. While these cigarettes may appear genuine in the best case scenario, they are often smuggled from countries like Spain or Belgium. In the worst case scenario, they could be counterfeit products potentially unsafe for consumption. To outsmart this scam, it's best to refrain from purchasing anything on the streets from individuals who lack the proper license to sell. While not strictly a scam, it's important to be aware of illegal street sellers who lay out sheets on the ground and display their merchandise in a way that allows for a quick getaway if needed. These street vendors often operate without a vendor's license, resulting in tax evasion and unfair competition against legitimate souvenir sellers. Moreover, some of these street vendors may sell counterfeit products, including fake designer bags or sunglasses. Additionally, there's a chance that some of these individuals are undocumented immigrants, which raises legal concerns. Now let's talk about a different facet of street life in Paris, beggars. While most beggars are genuinely in need, it's essential to exercise discretion in your giving, especially when children are involved. In May 2022, a dozen people suspected of participating in a human trafficking network were arrested. Their activities centered around begging with women and children soliciting donations. While presenting themselves as refugees from Syria, these families actually hailed from Romania, revealing a disturbing criminal network exploiting child begging. Moving on to the gold ring scam, which is prevalent wherever tourists gather. In this scam, an individual approaches you and pretends to have found a valuable golden ring or bracelet. They hand it to you as a gift, but quickly request a small monetary gift in return. Never accept random gifts from strangers on Paris streets. Politely decline by saying non merci. Scammers in Paris have devised various ways to exploit tourists, including selling fake tickets in the metro or offering counterfeit tickets to popular attractions. These scammers may impersonate metro staff and insist on assisting you in purchasing tickets. In one scenario, they may buy the cheapest fare, usually a child's ticket, and charge you the price of an adult ticket. Alternatively, you might purchase a ticket from a scammer that's either fake or already used. To avoid falling into these traps, always seek out official ticket booths within metro stations or use vending machines, which offer services in English. Now, let's turn our attention to a pervasive issue in Paris, pickpocketing. Thieves are opportunistic and employ various methods to steal your belongings. At restaurants, there are two techniques. First, we have the steal and run technique, where thieves grab something valuable like a phone or wallet left on a table at a cafe or restaurant and make a swift getaway. Alternatively, the sneaky one may sit behind you, especially if your jacket is hanging on the back of your chair. They'll discreetly explore your pockets while you're engrossed in conversation or dining. Once they secure your valuables, they'll leave as fast as possible. To thwart pickpockets, keep all your belongings out of their reach and avoid leaving anything valuable on the table. The lost tourist scam can occur anywhere in Paris, but is often executed in cafe terraces. 
Here, you'll be approached by strangers or a group asking for directions. They'll lay a large map on the table, and while you're assisting them, they'll swap your valuables from underneath the map. To stay safe, keep a watchful eye on your belongings at all times. You can even secure your bag or purse by wrapping it around your arm or leg, and keep your wallet concealed in a zippered pocket until necessary. Beware of pickpockets. The Paris metro system is a prime hunting ground for pickpockets. Thieves may strike as doors open or close, taking advantage of crowded conditions. Some may grab your purse, bag or luggage as doors are closing, while others may snatch your belongings from the floor between your feet. Groups of scammers, often teenagers, collaborate to target individuals. While one distracts onlookers, another keeps the victim occupied, a third snatches your valuables, and a fourth swiftly escapes, ensuring minimal detection. To minimize your risk, avoid crowded spaces within metro cars. Sit or stand farthest from the doors, and keep your bags in front of you. Be exceptionally cautious in the brief moments before the door closes. Remember, pickpockets aren't confined to the metro cars. They operate at vending machines, turnstiles, and platforms. Snatch theft is a common petty crime in Paris, where thieves quickly grab your valuables and flee the scene. This can occur in various ways, such as your bags or luggage being snatched as metro doors close, valuables being taken when left unattended on the metro, at a restaurant or at the airport, thieves inside a vehicle, like a car or bicycle, may snatch your belongings as they pass by. If you have to go on a bus trip, organized trip, transfer to the airport or a train station, and you leave your luggage in front of the bus hold unattended, a thief just has to pass by and help himself. To protect yourself, remain vigilant. Always keep an eye on your bags and valuables, and consider using a slash-proof bag to carry your belongings. Also, a handy tip for luxury shoppers, when making purchases at renowned brand boutiques like Louis Vuitton or Chanel, you can request an unbranded bag, or even better, opt for direct delivery to your hotel. This minimizes the risk of drawing unwanted attention while strolling through the city with conspicuous shopping bags. The ATM distraction snatch takes place near ATMs, where when scammer distracts you while you withdraw money, as you look away, a second scammer seizes your cash. To mitigate this risk, use ATMs located inside banks, or choose well-lit ATMs in busy public locations. In conclusion, Paris is a city filled with wonder and beauty, but it has also its share of scammers and thieves. When approached by strangers on the street, maintain a healthy dose of caution. Remember, Parisians typically don't engage in free hugs or excessive physical contact. Be assertive when refusing offers from strangers and stay vigilant. That wraps up our exploration of scams, petty thefts, and how to outsmart the tricksters in Paris. Stay safe, keep your wits about you, and continue enjoying the magic of this remarkable city. Until next time, au revoir.